like what you can see here. So now we're done with the first part of the homepage and we can move on to the second part, which is this one here, the popular articles section, where we just feature a few blog posts. And in order for us to create this nice layout, we need to install a plugin. So let's go come back here and then let's go back to our WordPress dashboard by going to the icon here and then going to exit. But before you actually click exit, make sure you update your page so all the changes are saved and then click on exit. And then you can simply click on the WordPress icon here and this will take us back to the WordPress dashboard. So now let's go to plugins, then click on add new. And then the plugin we're gonna use is uh, the post grid. So we're gonna type that in the search bar and it's the first one that comes up. So let's click on install now, then activate. And then we can just scroll down and click on save changes. And now let's go back to plugins and look for our plugin, which is this one here. It's already activated, but we also wanna enable auto updates. So let's click on enable auto updates here. And actually let's also enable it for this plugin here, the WordPress in importer, which we have used to import our dummy blog posts. So now that we have the plugin installed, we can go back to our homepage by going to pages. And now as we have already used Elementor, we can just go and click on edit with Elementor and this will take us back to our editor. So now let's first create the new section by clicking on the plus icon here. Then this time it's just gonna be a one column section. So we're gonna click here. And now let's go to our elements by clicking on the nine dots. And now we wanna use this, um, this element here, which is the TPG grid layout. Because we have installed the plugin, we can now see this element. So we can now drag this inside of our section. And now we can already see that our posts basically show up here. Now we wanna go into some of the settings. So here for the layout, we're gonna keep the layout one. Then we're gonna click on settings. And for field selection, we're gonna deselect a few things. So let's deselect the section title and also the metadata. Then let's open up this excerpt content menu and decrease the number of characters that should be shown as the preview text here to let's say 170 should be enough. And then we also wanna click on the read more button. And I'm gonna change for the button style from the default style to only text button. And then read more is fine. And I also wanna have an icon. So I'm gonna uh, activate the icon here. And I'm gonna choose an icon by clicking here. And then I wanna have something like an arrow. So let's maybe choose this arrow here, click on insert and this will insert this arrow here. Then let's go to the style settings by clicking here. And then let's click on the read more uh, section here and change the text color. So I wanna have this in my accent color, which is green. So under text color, I can just click on this globe icon and then all of my global colors will show up. And I'm just gonna choose the accent color we have already set up. And then as you can see, it will change to this green. Now we can also go to post title here. And this is about the title. And as you can see, when we hover over the title, it's actually blue and we wanna change this to our accent color. So under post title, let's switch from normal to hover. And then here we can define the hover color. So I'm gonna just gonna click on the globe icon again and choose my accent color. And then we can see when we hover over the title, it changes to green. Next, let's click on card. And then we're gonna add a radius for the posts, like the blog post cards here, this entire thing. So we're gonna just go to card border radius, leave these values linked, and then we can just click on the up arrow and then change this to let's say 20. And this will add these rounded corners, which looks a lot better. And then we also wanna add a box shadow, just like you can see here. And we can do that by just clicking on this pen icon next to the box shadow. And that's everything we need to do. You can also change the values of the shadow here, but I think it already looks pretty good. So that's how I'm gonna keep it. Then we might also wanna change the text size of the title and also of the um, preview text. So let's scroll up and first go to the post title. Then we can look for typography right here, click on the pen icon. And then here we can change the size. So we can make it bigger or smaller. I think I'm gonna make it a bit larger. 
I think this looks pretty good. And then I'm also gonna go to the excerpt and then go to typography and also adjust the size here. I wanna have this a bit larger. This is too much. So I think maybe like this. Actually, let me go back to the post title and decrease the text size just a little bit. Maybe we do 22. Okay, now I think that looks great. So to save this, just click on update. And now the only thing that's missing is the title for this section, just something like this, like popular articles or recent blog posts, something like that. So let's go back here, click on the elements icon and then drag in a heading just above our blog post section. Then we're gonna change the text here to let's say popular um, articles. And then we're gonna change the size. So we're gonna go to style, go to typography, and then first of all, change the size to something a bit bigger, 36 is fine. And then maybe also change the weight to let's say 700 to make this a bit bolder. And then let's also add a bit of padding or a bit of a margin here to the bottom of this text, of this heading. So let's go to advanced and then unlink the margin values and increase the bottom margin to let's say 10 pixels is fine. And then we also wanna add a bit of a margin here to the top of the entire section and also to the bottom. So let's select our um, blog post section, then go to advanced, we're already here. And first of all, unlink these values. And then for the top, I'm gonna add, let's say 30 pixels. And at the bottom, I'm gonna add 100 pixels. So this will be added here at the bottom of this section uh, before 